something working behind, right? I'll send you the coordinates. On my way. I know, friend. I know. My days of crafting are done. I will learn to hunt the sky people for this. I understand your anger, but there are other ways to help the clan. Please. Like what? Leaving colorful clothes? Singing happy songs? Why not? Our warriors need protection, and the people need careful souls to keep their spirits up. All of this help.
thank you for these gifts. trouble and you will be left with the no children fear. deserve to know what is behind that noise ah the sarentu perfect now i am no coward but there is a strange sound that wafts from the hills at night small concern given everything we are facing right oh the children disagree though Whenever I return to Home Tree, they say, You always know what is happening, Lei Tao. Why can you not tell us what that sound is? Their curiosity is so charming. And tiresome. What do you think it is? Likely someone with too much free time on their hands. The children think it may be the sky people in the hills nearby. But Nil Nyan... He forbids us from looking into it. The lecture he gave us on danger was so stern and lengthy, my yawns could have shaken home tree loose from its soil. Danger doesn't sound like something that would stop you. Ninyan lives a tedious life. He would not recognize actual danger if it walked right up to him and ate his dinner. He is an elder, though. When an elder speaks, we obey for better or worse. So, if I tell the children what I find, I am also telling them I have gone against an elder's wishes. But you, child, are not a Ranahe, which means you can help me get the children off my back as much as I love their endless pestering. Sometimes I wonder about the brews of the clouded forest. How must they taste? Would you trust that plan enough to try them? Of course. The herbalist seems so intriguing and wise. Imagine if we work together, the dyes we could develop. Well, what did you find? Nothing yet. Still looking into the sound.
What's he? Great treasures the night may hold. RDA gear. Late Thou was right. That sound. A quick fix might stop it. They said that there was a pot of gold at the end of this rainbow. More like a pot of crap. Nothing here but danger and risk of death. And then there's that creepy noise I heard last night. It doesn't sound like anything I've ever heard. I'd be more scared if I wasn't so pissed off about losing sleep. The second I see an opening, I'm hightailing it out of here. Such intricate... The sound was caused by a Sky People device. Looks like they dropped it. No Sky People around. Don't worry. <laughs> well, well. One less Sky People contraption is a good thing. I will let the children know.
Samson is state of the art, and it goes down just like that. Didn't think the blues could do this kind of damage. Here we are. Poor pilot. Probably some rookie. That should break more rookies off the ground. Either they got it or they don't. Gather with this pollution everywhere. Priya might know what to do. Hey, Priya? What's up? Oh, crap. What? I spilled my coffee. I mean, calling it coffee is generous, but anyway. Yeah. So I've reached a patch of forest that's heavily polluted. It's stopping me from getting the nectar I need. Let me see. Uh, yep, there's a facility near you. You'll have to take it out. That'll stop the pollution and the forest should clear up. Sid will help you do it quietly. Okay. I'll go check it out. Dropping the coordinates now. Remember that place will be heavily guarded, so prepare before you go.
some sort of poison, perhaps. Yes, though I do not know that it is intentional. Might need to prep first.
to the leaf <laughs> Forest is healing. Shit, they had no warning. It's all here. Hey, the air quality just keeps on improving. Alex says there'll be more safe paths for migrating animals now. We've even seen some older specimens coming back. I gotta say, it 
feels really good to know I won't have to witness yet another man-made extinction. Our data shows there's new, healthier growth happening all around the western frontier. Slowly but steadily, the life comes back everywhere. Hey, Priya. I found something here. It looks like a list of names. RDA names. Maybe where they're stationed? Oh, like a duty roster, I guess. Well, are you clever? Taking names and kicking ass. Oh, what? Uh, hang on a sec. You want what? Okay, so like is interested in these. Like super interested. Can you show him next time you're at HQ? Katna is right. Do not invite chaos. E2 is the boldest tracker I have hunted with. It makes me so proud to follow him into the forest. Just be careful around that one. There is never too much fitting between bravery mm -hmm. and foolishness. A flower cannot be... Whatever comes next, I will make sure we are ready for it. Okay, fine. It was a stupid bet to make. Mm-hmm. I re Priya mentioned you might have a use for the RDA duty roster I found. Human writings. They're computers. You can understand these things, yes? Sure. You're looking for computer parts? Information, names, and locations, like what you already found. I have heard whispers, surviving RDA soldiers, ones from the Battle of the Hallelujah Mountains, ones who destroyed my clan are stationed again on Pandora. Different places now, different posts. Find them for me, and I will do the rest. I can supply you in turn, whatever you need. Choose with care.
de Zaswa. Harvesting is never tedious with you, friend. Do you mean that? I feel the same. Hey there, it's okay. There you go. Thank you for these gifts.
Yes, this one will do nicely. Got it. There are plants nearby that can keep you in good health. What kind of weird? Well, I was doing some maintenance. That filtration system has me on edge. And also, have you ever noticed actually that with it? Priya, the weird thing. Oh, yeah, sorry. So I was straining to reach a part I needed, but then Nora comes over and he's like, let me get that for you. Enhance me the thing. What did you say? So bad. Yeah, <laughs> you're right. I'm glad though. Anyway, I'd better go. Call if you need anything. Let's hope this works. Hope is the only thing we have left, my Aldi. Did you bring the nectar? Ewa has brought us calm. There will not be calm if Katna discovers our plan. Is it going to hurt? No! Ewa, we enter your welcoming arms at one with all things connected through you. Uh. Guide this traveler, bring them to the heart of the nest. Oh, the queen. 
Jane. Not Home Tree. She's content. She... She's trying to show me something. She wants to gather the quinoa. They are hungry. The queen guides them to flowers. To feed. an RDA facility, but she doesn't know what it is. The queen wants to find more flowers for the king or to feed. The energy pulses disturb her. She feels it. The swarm is agitated. It's confusing, so she keeps flying. from the balloons. The swarm is weak. Where is she leading them? I think they're okay. Eat this. You have been on a long journey. What did the king or queen show you? I saw the sky people's facility looming over the forest. It's sending out a signal to the devices in the sky. That signal closes the flowers, stopping the king or from feeding. 
This forced them to the shelter of Home Tree. But the devices can only be reached by air. I'll shoot the floating devices down, every last one. That won't be enough. The signal is coming from a Sky People base at the Stone Pillars. But I think I know how we can disable the sensors on the floating devices. Then you must fly with us, but you'll need an Ikran. An Ikran is an honor only Katnat can grant. And he will not. The King Lore has shown the Sky People to be the source of their troubles. He has to listen this time. I'll gather the hunters. Their bows will be ready to help save the King Lore. Nafika will meet you at the base of the Rukri. It is time for you to soar, my young boy. I will bring Itu. It will comfort him to see you make the bond. We'll meet at a high place near the Rukri. Let our arrows fly true when we descend on the Sky People. What if I don't make a bond? You shall still have honor, my Andu. They shall sing songs of how an Ikran tossed you from the rookery. <laughs> First, you must connect to Ewa. She will prepare you for the Ikran bond. Uh, what? Knock, knock. Priya, what are you doing? Am I being it, tested it's knock, knock. You know, you just say, who's there? All right? Like someone's knocking on a door. Okay. Knock, knock. Who's there? I know it's you, though. No. Just, okay, just play along. Knock, knock. Who's there? Water. Now you say water who? Water who? I'm still here. I could said that joke was dumb, but it isn't, right? Come on, help me prove a point. It's great, Priya. Definitely the best knock-knock joke I've ever heard. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. I am telling her you said that. To fly one's Ethan over the... My favorite, Sarentu. I never thanked you for helping me investigate that strange sound. Oh, no need. Just glad to help. Not so fast. The sound has returned, and with it, the children at their questions. Late thou, you said the sound would go away. Again? I can take another look. Still the same spot? Yes, the hills nearby. But at night. Always at night. What if we can't find the source of the sound this time? The children's curiosity is endless. They swarm around me like Kinglor, only they are less fuzzy and somehow more tiring. But if we adults demand they respect our words, then we must also show them our words are worth respecting.
Let us not stand around waiting to be caught out. You're here? Is it safe? I am not sending you to your doom, Goa. Trust me, my young. That's what you said about the King Lord sting. Yeah, I use this with Zomi. May you find a bond as strong as ours. Oh, and my aunt. Our hunters always say, do not look down. I suggest you heed their wisdom. <laughs> What took you so long? I slowed down for you. How? How did you get up here so fast? Ha! I spent my childhood climbing these mountains. I know all their tricks. You're feeling better then? In body. Not yet in spirit. She looks a little skittish. It is up to her if she chooses you. Hey. Did I meet you before? Do not worry. No self-respecting Ikran would accept the first attempt. Continue your climb. Show her you are worthy. I hope so. Hey, Priya, you will never guess where I am right now. The Erwada didn't boil you in one of their dive hats, did they? <laughs> the opposite. I'm climbing the Ikran record to be chosen. At least, I hope I get chosen. <gasps> Seriously? Right now? You're doing that right now? It's like crazy, Holly, right? Are you scared? You're not helping. You have to tell Noor. He'll love it. Hang on. Better get a foot stool.
Nor. I hope I get chosen. The bond is pure, untouched by humans. But we are into are a little too human. Even now, I use a human instrument to speak with you. Well, it takes all weapons to win a war, right? That sounds like something Mercer would say. You'll do great. Don't fall, okay? Priya. Yeah. The bond requires trust on both sides. I'm not sure she is ready to trust yet. Remember, the choice belongs to the Ikran, not to you. You're okay. Don't worry. doing wrong she is not sure of you yet keep going maybe she will reward your efforts i'm starting to feel like i won't get chosen she is just teasing be strong Elon, take heart. The bond is a precious thing to be cherished. A life linked forever with your own. I met Zome at this very spot. She reared up, snapped at me. My stomach churned, my palms slippery with sweat. My heart pounding so hard against my ribs, I thought it would butter bravado was all for show. Her eyes found mine and my heart slowed. My breath came steady. I knew she would choose me. I felt it.
You're okay. Don't worry. Now name her. She has made herself yours. I think I'll call you Fury. A new bond. It is wondrous to fly on thought alone, to touch the mind of another, your heart's beating as one. You must secure the bond with a final act of trust. How do I... Ah! Let's think. Can you go faster? <laughs> That's it! Let's dive! You hungry, girl? You want a treat? You do, don't you? I hope the Oranahe hunters agreed to help us. I bet you've seen those nasty RDA balloons, haven't you, girl? I'm not so sure we can take them out alone. Come on, let's find Etua.
Any update? No, but I think I'm close. A flower cannot be forced to bloom. You are courting trouble.
That sound, there. place is forbidden. Why have you come? The children have been hearing strange noises at night. You, Sarantu, and your inescapable curiosity, like the jaws of a prowling Thanator. 
It is this instrument, a gift from a Kamatere musician years ago. I am an old man, but even I can sense the light of curiosity fading from all Aronahe, the further we are mired in our own affairs. So, I picked up this dusty instrument to remind myself there is a world outside of Aronahe traditions to rekindle my own curiosity, as silly as that may seem. But why the secrecy? Young one, I know what the others say about me when I am not around. Nyunan, the stuffy, cantankerous elder who balks at everything. Perhaps this is who I am meant to be. This instrument will be shelved away once more. With all my efforts reduced to a strange noise that terrifies the children at night. You said you felt that curiosity slipping from your people. Maybe your curiosity would inspire others somehow. Yes, I never thought of it this way. I still have a few tricks to show the rest of my people. If I am to inspire young and old alike, I must not be afraid to show this side of me. Of course. My young friend, you are right indeed. I will not wait to show the Auronahe this side of Nilnan. <coughs> Are you our young Sarantu guest? May I have a word? You have returned again. Any good news this time? Neil Nan is the one making that sound. He's practicing a new instrument from another clan. <laughs> oh, child. I know the Sarantu are gifted storytellers. But this is taking it too far, yes? He hopes to master the instrument and share it with the rest of the clan when he's ready. Oh, you are being serious. Nin Yan, it was a horrid sound, just so we are clear. I will admit, I am quite impressed by the old man's resolve. Perhaps I have been too harsh on him in the past. Now the children can rest easy, and so can I, awaiting Nin Yan's entertainment. <laughs> Keep that metal stick out of my face. Do not I has asked for you. He Go says to a sudden to presence will help. I can only hope he is right. Do you have no other clothes? is right. Sky people are scum.
I wonder what kind of leader I will be. I have to find my own path now. The RDA won't soon forget our victory. Think what we could do with one of them 3D printers. I should do something I nice mean, for Jin. I'm not Me saying no. We have the sky people running scared. You fight with your whole heart. A shame your friends do not. They do. Nor doesn't like to use metal, but he's helping the resistance. And Ritnella is working with Alma. Dalan. He thinks I don't see his eyes light up when a human speaks to him, but I do. I see how he scrambles to fix their gear and answer their questions. He wants their approval. He just likes human things. He who does not know himself will seek meaning elsewhere. But there is only so much I can teach him. I do not know what it is to be a Sarento. Neither do I. You are learning. And you can show him there is comfort to be found in Na'vi ways. I'm not sure what to do now. Everything's different. Come to gear up? You take care of yourself. I'm not sure how to make it up to everyone. If I even can. You are heading into the wild woods? Do not fear. The silk of my garb is thickly woven. Oh. Can I help with something? Let me know if I can help with anything else. Do you have no other? What is it you need? I think stay sharp, young one. Duty calls me to the healing circle. Will you meet me there? My friend will soon become one with Ewa, and it would gladden his spirit immensely to see the Sarantu returned. Hello, old friend. I bring you herbs for the pain and something else. The Sarantu and Aranahe are friends, and 
One should always be surrounded by friends as our final moment beckons. The Saren too returned in my final days. My grandmother once loved one of you. I grew up with the songs of your clan. Perhaps our young Sarantu friend could sing? I know one song, not the words, but... face death with the songs of my grandmother clear in my heart. I shall tell her of this moment when I see her in Ewa. Of course. Rest. When death comes, I will be at your side. Come, we will talk more outside. Your friend seems brave in the face of death. What courage is there in death? The dead fear nothing, for only the living have something to lose. Such loss cuts to the core of who we are. I see it in my friend Tsukiri. They lost a close friend recently. You brought great comfort to my friend in his last days. Perhaps you can make headway with Tsukiri where I did not. They say the Sarandu brought people together with stories. I would like to try. You are a credit to them. Tsukiri likes to while away the hours at Weaver's Flourish. I suspect you will find them there, stewing in their grief. A mistake is just a lesson you have not learned yet. Right? Estua is right. The sky people are scum. She said she could dive from the wood sprite archers all the way in A life lived in shadow sees no growth, no renewal. What would you like? Choose your way wisely. Not sure what Kitangi would think of such a weapon. Do you think those two will ever see eye to eye? Perhaps they see My each other. Hello. Are you looking for Tsukiri? I just saw them muttering to themselves at the shore nearby. But be wary. They are in a dark mood.
Etua may be reckless, but she has good instincts. Where is this ship? Tsukiri? Kaya thought I might find you here. Are you looking for something? <sighs> Nothing that can be found. My friend, Eteko, he liked to joke. Frank, obsessed with discovery and adventure too. Tried to make me believe he saw some mysterious colorful shell up here. A shell, up here. What a liar. I told him he was lying. He said he would find the shell again and prove me wrong. Then went and got himself killed on the hunt. The fool. Would finding the shell bring you comfort? Having something that was important to your friend? It does not exist. It is another one of his pranks. That is all. <laughs> 